sure? Is your Grey Warden. The mother told it to me that if he was lured to this place and slain, that in time you would come. And the mother, she was right. The mother is always right. The mother is she that sent me, she that wished you to come to hear this place. I, here before you, is the first, and I am bringing to you a message. The mother, she is not permitting you to further his plan, whether this you know or not. So she is sending you a gift. as well. It cannot be this. The mother, she has deceived me. I am betrayed. Can never trust my mother either. Now I am being trapped in the fade with you. Ah, oh, I am the fool. Warden is wishing help. I will be leaving you to the children. I will be finding my own path back into the world. <laughs> The mother. You the mother know, when your father took over the Arl of Denerim's palace, he moved his bedroom next to the dungeon. 
What are you talking about? Sounds like someone like to nip down for a bit of torture before bedtime. Delilah did say that Father had begun indulging in his darker side. Hey, everyone needs daddy issues. Just trying to help. be done.
No, my lady, I do not forget. I merely... But I would never contradict your ladyship. No. Walking around a magical I dream don't. village. I've had enough of this touchy-feely head trip. <laughs> Not a spirit like everyone else. How did you get here? You were forced to come here? That's very strange. This is where my grandfather's ashes are buried. I come to visit him often. He was the last person to stay in Black Marsh. Once he passed, there was nobody left in the village who remembered. Remembered what happened to the village, of course. Then that evil woman came and changed everything. She. Oh no! They've come back again. Quick. And so you came, fell into my little trap. Such wonderful creatures, you mortals. So full of yearnings, so full of hunger. Hmm, you do outnumber me now, it's true. Clearly, you mortals are not frail. Very well. Let the Baroness have you. Them 
overwhelm us. Halt! Who enters the Black Marsh? Trapped? Then you're just as we are, locked in this endless nightmare. We've been here so long at her mercy. There is a spirit that's come to free us. Perhaps you could help him. Hear me, people! She is evil incarnate! The countless evils I've seen her... I won't turn around, mistress, I promise. I'd better report this to the guards. The mansion will not protect you, fiend! Come out and face your crime! We aren't afraid of you any longer! The witch hides! Break down the door! Be cautious, my friends! The Baroness has power within her lair, and she well knows it. We rush in at our peril. And who comes now? More minions of the Baroness? Or yet more helpless souls she has tormented? I cannot say what a Grey Warden is, but clearly you are a stranger. I am Justice. I have watched this place and seethed at the wrongs visited on these poor folk, and now I seek to aid them. Once we lived in the real world and the Baroness ruled over us. And when we burned down her mansion, she cast one final spell that brought our spirits here. This spirit knows the Fade. If we help him, he might help us. I think that since the Baroness trapped these people here, that she's our best chance of getting out. Tell me, stranger, will you help us in this righteous task? Being a Grey Warden appears to make you an able sort, and thus, your aid would be most welcome. Then we have the numbers to challenge the Baroness directly. Ooh, a direct challenge. I like the sound of that. Less talk, more killing. They just said she was an evil, powerful witch. Do, do we really want to antagonize her? Hmm. There's a thought. All right, you convince me. My intention is to storm the gate. Are you ready? Good people. For too long have her crimes gone unpunished. Now is the time to replace- She never had any children that I ever heard of. My, my. All that shouting outside and now you finally decided to barge in without even a proper invitation. Foul sorceress. Justice, is that what you're calling it? What of their punishment? Burning my home to the ground and me within it. 
Because you were stealing our children, using their blood to feed your vanity. As was my due. You lived on my land, I, your rightful ruler. Your blood was mine, just as your lives are now. What's this? We are no longer alone, Baroness. As it happens, I am no longer alone either. My path back across the Vale lies in victory over you and your new allies. Then the Mother will pay for her treachery. Instead, I should have chosen you, mortal. We must be ending this. Now! The Grey Warden, it is more dangerous than you know. Oh, as you wish, creature. Enough! The battle is joined! Haven't you defeated them? They are too much. Oh, I will sunder the veil, all right. I'll send them all back. But you? Your life is going to provide the power. No. No. What is happening? No. This is the world of mortals. Beyond the veil. And this... This is... A mortal body of flesh. I am trapped within. Which sundered the veil in her haste. All of us were drawn through. She has returned to this realm as well. Can you not feel it? The Baroness is nearby. You misunderstand. The Baroness, she is not as mortal as you are, or as were the villagers she kept trapped. There was such a mortal once, but now? That is a demon of pride. But here, in your world, here she will be quite something else. The veil is sundered, and the tears must be closed. Let I can alter your weapons for a time, allowing them to drive back the Fade's magic. Uh -huh. Yes. I do not know quite how to thank you. I do not know quite how to thank you. What's this? A baby's plaything? Funny. I was sauce the other day, and I was thinking, Ogren, don't you wish you had a pony? Uh, I didn't... I didn't say that out loud, did I? You know, 
Bronca loved toy horses way back when. <laughs> Old girl was always a little odd. Too bad it's not a real pony, huh? <laughs> uh, just as well. The real ones poop. This is... <laughs> you make me laugh, Commander. <laughs> Thanks. shouldn't have. 